Hi there, Loy Macedo. Swing to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. All right. I'll just play the video um, of this argument that has happened in terms of an Indiegogo uh, cabin crew uh, member uh, and uh, a passenger whose face you can't see. Uh, I'll play the video first, uh, have a look at it, and then after that, you give me your thoughts as to what you feel, and I'll give you my thoughts as to who is to blame. So here it is. It is, I don't know, how many minutes is this? One minute. Okay, so let's start. Uh, one, two, three, go. Pointing finger on me and yelling on me. My crew is crying because of you. Please try to understand there's a card, they're accounted, he is uplifted. We can only solve what you're Why are you yelling? Because you are yelling on us. Excuse me, please. No, I am so sorry, sir, but you cannot talk to the crew like that. I am peacefully listening to you with all due respect, but you have to respect the crew as well. Yes, well, I'm disrespecting you. Then why are you yelling on me, pointing me like that? You are yelling on me. Why are you yelling? I was peaceful. Shut up. You shut up. I'm sorry, you cannot talk to me like that. I'm also an employee here. Your body for sure, that is just an Yes, I'm an employee. I'm not your servant. I am an employee. I am not your servant. Okay. Then you don't get okay. All right. Uh, so this is a one-minute uh, video clip. Okay. Um, I'll give you my thoughts, and I'll also read uh, the article. The link is put down below. It's from ndtv.com. So it seems that a video of an argument between a passenger and one of the cabin crew of Indiegogo airline has gone viral. According to the person who shot the clip, posted on Twitter, said it took place between uh, Istanbul and Delhi flight over food, okay? Reacting to the airline, the passenger showed bad behavior on board, insulted one of the air hostesses, uh, and it seems that she ended up crying. And then it seems a senior person came and had to intervene. In a statement, the airline said they're looking into the incident and they have assured that customer focus is prime importance. The accompanying video shows a heated argument between air hostess uh, and the passenger who was not visible, as you know. Okay. Now, some of the key dialogues, if you actually go through it, uh, the air hostess is telling the man, it's a guy, you're pointing a finger at me and yelling at me, which is yeah, very common. Uh, my crew is crying because of you. So, something happened before. Now, if someone is crying and you're rude, well, that is not a small matter. However, what I felt is she was very emotionally charged. Okay, she was very emotionally charged. Uh, then, you know, she's saying, please try to understand there is a cart and counted meals are uplifted on the plane. We are serving you what you are boarding. Okay, um, here are my thoughts before I do go further. I think uh, the problem, see, it's, it's a two-way thing. You know, the problem with especially... See, being an Indian passport holder, I'm telling about Indians. Ah, Indians are very ill-mannered. They just don't know how to behave. Okay. Majority of them. We are talking about 80%, not the educated ones. All right. They are self-entitled. They believe if they come on, uh, sit in an aircraft, they can ask sun, moon and stars. They can ask whatever they want. They can ask any food they like. So, and especially if you travel uh, to the Middle East in Emirates, where there is free alcohol, you should see how they behave. Oh, goodness. They'll keep asking for free alcohol as if it's a party, not as if they are going for business or they're going to a destination. It's like, oh, I paid money. I get a lot of free alcohol and they get pissed drunk. Okay. And on top of that, obviously, it's not forget their grooming habits of them smelling bad with their, that body odor. It's their behavior that is even more rotten. So, uh, one area we have how the majority of our Indian passengers be very loud, very brash, obnoxious. But like I said, it's not everyone. It's not everyone. Okay. The majority of them. On the other hand, you have these cabin crew folks, some of them, okay, who, who are, uh, I mean, they also, especially, I, I don't know, maybe it's the uh, domestic sector. You have a lot of these youngsters who are brought on board or maybe they are not 
well trained or maybe they are given small salaries so they get low quality low grade uh, kind of uh, uh, cabin crew professionals some of them i don't know they are frustrated with their life or they are frustrated with their work or they just feel ah oh, this is another sector i don't work so you can feel that disrespect um me personally if i could say out of 10 incidents uh eight have been not bad eight have been not bad eight have been good uh two have been really bad okay where they have been rude excuse me what do you want and, yeah, you begin to think like ah oh, and i'm um, sorry you, you know they just ignore you fine okay but i've never had a fight and argument with them i just don't like it because they are doing their work i'm come here i'm just paying a small this thing i'm an economy class as first class i can demand so i don't bother there have i asked for a change in food yes have i asked for a different kind of serving yes okay have i taken advantage also yes okay so i've given you both the sides now uh, on the side of the passengers see if you are economy class you can't demand the sun moon and stars if you have paid money for a certain type of meal and you have not made planning for that in advance then you can't demand at the last moment and um, disrespecting an individual who's working that is not acceptable by any standard so as for this article she was uh, she came in charged because it seems this guy made one of her colleagues cry so i think she took the role of being a leader as a parent as a protector okay so and when she came in emotionally charged well she obviously was sitting down to not stand on top and yell at the passengers to show respect that's why when cabin crew speak to you they normally sit down even waiters or waitresses they sit down to show respect you're up okay so then before she could complete the passenger shouts back why are you yelling actually she was also yelling so she was raising a voice so he also yelled so then she replied even louder because you are yelling on us and what is happening is now when you are working there to serve passengers and other passengers can see you obviously they are also going to jump on you which this is what happened then her colleague came there and tried to intervene and said calm down but they started firing shots at each other and then she said i'm sorry you can't talk to the crew like that i'm peacefully listening to you with all due respect but you have to respect the crew as well then the man asked where have i disrespected the crew to which the air hostess highlights the finger pointing then the man obviously loses cool shut up he says she said you shut up and uh, she says that i am an employee of the company you can't talk to me like that and the man says she is a servant i couldn't hear that part and she clarifies i'm not your servant then the fight uh, ends up and they just separate them okay so indigogo it seems indigo sorry indigo they said we are aware of the incident that took place on flight c Six uh, E twelve from Istanbul to Delhi on December sixteen, twenty twenty two. It was in relation to a meal chosen by the passenger via coach sharing. So they want to ensure customer free experience. They don't want their brand to be affected. So obviously they give these very diplomatic statements. However, um, you know there are some people who are saying that uh, I'm observing a growing trend that Indi Go six E crew. being impatient on my three journeys uh they don't know how to handle questions they are very irritating and it's madness especially in delhi i think uh, customers need to be polite but service providers also need to be sensitive and patient however on the flip side people have said their hostess works very hard they are always smiling they are always helpful open hearted if she is yelling on the passenger that means something bigger must have happened so in conclusion what i feel you can give me your views i feel both of them are at fault passenger because i do not know what happened before but uh, he must have definitely you know it takes two hands to clap so he must have said something to hurt or harm the female because of which she is crying if she is crying obviously he must have said something or maybe we can say maybe he said something but in a not a nice way maybe it was that time of the month or maybe for that female maybe she was not keeping well or maybe something emotional may be happening in her personal life so she started to cry okay maybe she broke down so this lady she took that leadership the thing that i'll protect you i'm the senior so she came but she came emotionally charged if you see a body language you hear the video she is emotionally charged so instead of handling i don't think she handled it well i think she could have done better and you know obviously if you're shouting and screaming at someone 
publicly that also in front of a you know the person is not going to keep quiet he's not going to say say sorry uh, they, you know he could have said okay if you feel i've done it i apologize can i have my this thing that would have maybe diffused the situation but then he also you know being the customer he also shouted and she also shouted and uh, in the end ended up with all this drama so i just would see failure from both the sides uh the burden of responsibility would be on the air hostess because this is her job she has to do her job there's no excuse over there um she could have responded more politely so the greater fault is hers uh but at the same time this passenger making someone cry asking for you know meal replacement i don't know if he's self entitled or free or whether he did order maybe he's allergic to prawns or something and they served him something he cannot eat or he's a vegetarian and they gave him non veg then he is at uh, then he is not at fault they are at fault so overall my assessment is the lady is at greater fault which they should apologize and compensate for this passenger because she reacted if she had not reacted then i would say the passenger is at fault and uh, yes i think they should uh, make sure that this incident is not repeated by giving them stricter guidelines very explicitly and training should be provided how to handle such a situation this is what i have to say let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly do you agree disagree with me love to hear your thoughts this means signing off you guys take care